track off a DR5 uh, drum machine but uh, some of the things I want to talk about now were to do with timing and uh, touch so uh, timing you would tend to think you want to be perfectly on time all the time right on the the beat but um, uh, for some styles of music that's pretty good but for other styles it just sounds very mechanical if you're really doing that um, all the time every time so you tend to have to adjust your timings to suit the style of music that you're playing so for instance if it's sort of uh, shreddy stuff which you do a lot of um, picked notes uh, no other uh, hammer-ons pull-offs or very few hammer-ons pull-offs um, you do tend to want to be uh, precisely on the beat most of the time especially when you're speeding up because uh, there isn't much um, time to um, do variations or adjustments on the, the note timings because they're going by so fast so there's a typical one I think it was um, he's a quite famous shredder and there was a practice piece that somebody wants to show me to get to uh, and you just sort of sit for a long time and play this little lick if I can remember how it goes now but it was um, a three notes per string and a, a, another note so it'd be uh, <laughs> so I can't really do these very well but uh, there's um, an alternative you could use which is uh, two hammer-ons, two pull-offs to do that so it'd be and you notice although it's um, playing a similar number of notes at a similar speed it's got quite a different sound to it um, first one, the all pick notes, is, is very staccato, each note tends to stop and starts um, pretty distinctively, where with the uh, two hammer-ons and two pull-offs, uh, the notes tend to uh, merge mo <coughs> more into each other, but they're still, you know, the timing's still uh, pretty precise. So. <laughs> but uh, you've got the choice there, so you can either use either one and choose the right one that um, sort of suits the, the music that you, you're going to be playing. Uh, if you play it slower, let's have it slower. So that's picked. And this is legato or with hammer-ons and pull-offs. Using a lot less uh, pick movement as well on the uh, legato one, so when you speed it up, you're not having to uh, speed the right hand uh, up so quickly as uh, when you're using uh, pick notes for everything. Um, a little bit on the, the various, you might have noticed if you've been watching, say, um, videos from some of the name guitarists, and uh, you've got all the tab, you know all the notes, you play it and you think, well, I'm playing all the notes in the right timing, etc. It doesn't sound like this uh, named guitarist uh, when he plays it, and uh, or she. And sometimes it can be down to the difference in the 
uh, sound getting from one note to the other. So as we've seen with pick notes, they're very staccato, start and stop uh, precisely uh, and don't really flow together. So you've got hammer-ons and pull-offs, anyway, the, the pull-offs. So you could do things like that. Usually you don't do uh, rows of them, you tend to uh, mix and match, so it might be a pull-off or a hammer-on. So we've got hammers and pull-offs, bends and slurs. So slurs, there are very, um, there's a lot of different ways of doing slurs. Bends, similar, but um, with slurs. So let's do a quick up slur. So could be a, a one and a half, a uh, whole tone, or a half tone. Up and down we can have. Um, obviously you're picking the first note and sliding to the second note without picking again. Um, with the bends, oh, let's do some more slurs. Um, there's one where you slur up and down with a, a sort of, um, it's not an even speed when you do it, I'll just show you. So it's so it's not fast, but down a bit slower, and usually into a, a, a pull-off sort of um, three-note thing or whatever. Identified as something else, but uh, for me, it's a three-note percussive sound. It doesn't really need to have a pitch as long as it, the the last of the three ends up on a note. So, um, use um, palm damping, I think, to get the uh, percussive sound rather than. Um, sounding a note. So the first note, first note is sounded then, rake down the three strings. I'm doing an actual, what am I doing there? A, a pull off really at the bottom of that. So it's three, so to the first note is sounded, and the next two notes are definitely soft percussive. And the last one is sounded. The, it tends to be a percussive sound, so palm damping is um, is usual on apart from the first note. Again, with palm damping, you need to use it and unuse it when you want a note to ring out on palm damp. When you want it to be staccato palm damp. <laughs> use quite a lot is that um, um, hybrid picking thing right because it's it's quite difficult to do this in so now I'll try and pick it you can you know it is possible to pick it and if you're a really good picker you can do it, but um, it's just a lot easier doing it with um, hybrid picking because it's half the pick strokes using your your other finger to do, or other fingers to do the other stroke. So, so it's a hammer on, uh, a nail stroke, and then a, a pick under. I'm damping some of the strings by taking my fingers off at the right moment to get that more staccato sound to And those slurs where it's just a, a very fast... Mm -hmm. 
And that's that up and um, up fast and down slow, slow. Mm -hmm. 